What's up y'all, it's your girl Sierra Marie here and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, you already know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, like, comment, share this video with all your friends. And if you haven't already, go check out my most recent content. What's up y'all, I am back again. I am so thankful that you guys went and checked out my other videos and my other content that I have up. Thank you for viewing me, thank you for watching me, thank you for all the love. And thank you for following our Instagram page. If you haven't already, go do that. And go follow me on my main Instagram. It is on the screen for the remainder of this video. So, now, as you guys can tell by today's thumbnail, I am doing a updated YouTube channel Q&A. So, I posted a poll on my story and asked people to ask, answer. Answer. I posted a poll and I ask for some questions from people and these are the questions I got so we finna get into these questions y'all it's just me for me I'm sorry y'all it's just me for me so we gonna start with the first question question number one where do you want to travel to next hmm where do I want to travel to next honestly I want to go on an island somewhere I want to go to at least like somewhere like I either want to go to Mexico, Jamaica, or St. John, or St. Lucia, I think, or St. Lucia, 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 something like that. I just want to be on an island somewhere, like a nice, nice island. I would definitely prefer like Jamaica or St. Lucia or something like that. Mexico too, because I've seen a lot of people have been there already, and that's on my bucket list, so... Mexico is definitely one of them for sure. How many tats do you have in total? So we finna count them. I think I got like 20 tats. So we got one behind my ear. I don't know if y'all can see it for I'm gonna show y'all. But it's a 333 angel number. So that's one of them. And then I got a heart right here. I got a face tat over here. I got one on my neck on each side. And then I got some on my back and I got some on my arms and my sides. So we finna count them right now. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, I got 21 in total. And I have two on my side. So I have one on my lower side and one on my um, upper side, like by my boob. And then I got two on my chest. And I got two right here. I got two on my back and one on the back of my neck. And then I got my sleeves mostly done. So, yeah. And then next question. Are you going to start our OnlyFans? <laughs> uh, OnlyFans. Um, I'm not going to say I haven't thought about it. Mm -hmm. I sure have thought about it. But it's like showing the whole world my goodies is like very very out there you know like okay and i'm not bashing anyone that does do your stuff do your stuff i'm not bashing nobody's bag but i don't know i i i mean i don't know i would it just like depends on what kind of content i would be sharing because i got a nice body so i love my body but um I don't know maybe maybe not I don't know I don't know about that but me one thing I'm very open to a lot of things not saying it like that but like I'm very like what's the word I love to experience new things and try new things and things like that and yeah so I don't know how you keep your hair healthy so i just recently a couple months ago started getting like silk presses and trims like getting my ends trimmed so most of my brown dye that was on my hair is really gone i think like i don't know can y'all see any dye 
y'all see any brown dye because my hair is originally jet black so like a darkish brown but i think yeah i think the dye has grown off now but yeah trims help really good i use do grow oil and jamaican castor oil sometimes but mostly do grow oil oil in my hair so really i do to keep my hair healthy and then like I try to keep it in protective styles and stuff like that. I don't really use heat on my hair unless I'm getting a silk press and trim. So yeah, I feel like too much heat could damage your hair too or dyeing it. I stopped dyeing my hair, which helped it keep it healthy. But your hair can still be healthy and you can still be dyeing it, but you have to like be moisturizing it, washing it, doing hair masks, et cetera, et cetera, to keep up with it because you're dyeing your hair so what does dye mean dye d-y-e it's a different spelling but it's the same meaning as dye so you're basically killing something you're killing your hair but i guess you could do it in a healthy way still by making sure it's moisturized and not dry and not breaking off and skincare routine hmm so I'm actually not going to share my skincare routine in this video because I feel like I should do a separate video on it just to do a video, you know, so, but I will tell y'all it is just not going to be in this video. What places have you been that you feel are safe to travel to alone? So honestly, I've only been to South Beach, Miami by myself twice. So I would say South Beach, Miami, really, it's not like it's not as dangerous as people make it seem it's like you have to be one of the people that use your intuition too though like you gotta follow your intuition your first mind when going places alone like you just gotta use your discernment like um and you just gotta like feel free to know that you're always alone anyway so like why not go places alone you know as long as you know you got god on your side i feel like you could go anywhere alone but it really depends because i be hearing in some places you could go to you could really get kidnapped and like especially like islands like i hear like most people that go to like jamaica and like not jamaica but like places like that you know they got islands and resorts and stuff like you got to watch out for them type of places because it'd be groups of people that are trying to take you and stuff but in miami it was like it wasn't that bad like it's weirdos anywhere you go but like it was decent in South Beach, Miami. Honestly, I liked it. I enjoy myself being by myself when I go out of town. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. So I feel like South Beach, Miami. When I went to New York, I was with my late boyfriend, EJ. And it was pretty nice out there. I feel like it would have still went smooth if I went alone. But in New York, like you gotta watch out for the people that be trying to scam you and stuff. Like if I were you personally, if you go to New York, I would not stay, well, I wouldn't say don't stay in Times Square, but you have to like really like know like what you're doing. Like you gotta watch people because they really be trying to get over on you. Like for real, in New York, they really be trying to get over on you, and they know you like traveling. You're a tourist, so you really the only type of people that they gonna know is in this spot. So they gonna try to really get over on you. So that's the only thing I really had to worry about in New York. And if I would have went alone, that's what I really would have had to worry about. But other than that, it wasn't no weirdos or nothing out there. It was nice. It was just like, you know, like if you were at home type shit. Like you just got to treat it like you at home when you go places like type shit. Relationship status, single. We're just going to get that out the way. I'm single. And are you bisexual? Yes, I am. I like females and I like men. Are you going to have another kid? yes if that is what god wants for me i am gonna have another kid and i would like to have a girl because i know my girl would be so pretty she's just gonna look like her brother anyway and me but yeah i would definitely like to have a girl like y'all i be on instagram and i be seeing babies and i just be like <laughs> they my weakness they're so cute like cause when babies are just so new and just chubby and got the big old eyes and they curly hair it's just oh my gosh do not bring a baby around me and it's a very very cute baby like i am gonna turn into a simp i just i love babies i love babies how many fights have you been in <laughs> um 
how many fights have I been in? So, I think I want to say I've been in five fights out of my whole life. Like real fight, no. Six fights out of my whole life. Yep, I've been in six fights out of my whole life. Where do you get your dress up clothes and shoes? So me personally, I go on Fashion Nova, Sheen, Pretty Little Thing, and Amazon. So yeah, them is the top places to go, y'all. And I also, I be going, well, where else do I be getting my dressy dress clothes and shoes? No, nope, them the places I get like. If I'm getting dressy, dressy stuff, definitely Fashion Nova and Sheen, for sure. Um, Pretty Little Thing got nice stuff too. Amazon, you gotta know how to dress. You gotta go in there and look for stuff that people be getting. And you can go in there and get like all them outfits you be seeing. Boutiques be having. You can go in there and find them outfits on there and stuff. Little nice outfits you could throw together. All type of stuff. What kind of conditioner do you use in Jaden's hair? I really don't have a set conditioner. I'm not going to lie. But we love Dove conditioner. We love using that one. I'll be having that one a lot. Most of the time. But when I go like to my um, hairstylist. She uses her own conditioner she got. But my son is mostly. It's either the Pantene one. Or it's the Dove one. Y'all my stomach is cramping so bad. Why do girls have periods? <laughs> Uh, what do you use to edit your videos I use iMovie and Velo Velo V-L-L-O Velo yeah I don't know if that's how you say it but that's how you spell it V-L-L-O that's what I use to edit and they're pretty much the easiest apps to use there's, others app there's other apps to use but I personally use that one, Velo, and I only, and then like, there's also like, you can use Video Leap. This is just some suggestions. If you don't want to use iMovie, you can use Video Leap. I'm pretty sure you can use Kind Master. And I think you can use Record Maker, maybe. I think, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. But I know you can use, yeah, Velo, iMovie. Oh, you can use CapCut, I think, too. Let me see. I definitely think you can use CapCut. Um, actually, no, you can't. I actually use that app for, like, making thumbnails and stuff. Let me see. Yeah, I would just say use those. But I think I got some more apps on here you can use. Let me see. I got a lot of different apps that I didn't use for different stuff. Let me see. Can you use this one? Nope, not that one. So, yeah, I would just go with those ones, to be honest. Yeah, I would go with those ones that I said. What's your favorite song? Mm, that's a hard one. My favorite song? I got a lot of those. I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I would have to say my favorite song right now. Let me look at my playlist real quick. Let me see. My favorite song. Because I like a lot of different artists. Like, I like a lot of different artists. So, I would have to say my favorite song right now. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's A Boogie with the Hoodie, Man in the Mirror. That's my favorite song right now. And I actually, I'm going to do my top three favorite songs. So that one, A Boogie with the Hoodie, Man in the Mirror. That's my top one, favorite one right now. And then my second favorite one right now will have to be... Let's see... 
Let me go through. I got a lot of different people in here. Oh my gosh, it's so many to choose from. Like, <laughs> like it's so many to choose from. Um, Coyla Ray, Anxiety. And then my next one by Coyla Ray uh, is definitely Paranoid. Oh, I'm sorry. No, wait. Coyla Ray, Heart in a Coffin. Heart in a Coffin. That is my song right now. So, yeah, I'm going to just do those top three. I ain't going to do a whole bunch because it's a lot of songs I like right now. What's your go-to song artist when you work out? I would have to say the baby. Um yeah, the baby, who else? Drake. Um who was Young Dolph. Um Who else do I listen to when I work out? I'm trying to think. Mulatto. Lil Baby, if I didn't say that already. Herb, sometimes. It depends what song it is. Some of his songs we hear, you know, with uh, working out and shit. Um, who else I be listening to when I work out? Honestly, I just be letting my song playlist play, and they just be playing everybody, but Polo G2, for sure. Pop Smoke. Um, who else? That's really about it that I like to listen to when I work out. Yeah. Okay. Top five music artists you like to hear. That's a hard one because I got more than five, but I'm going to just share the ones I really like. Top one, y'all already know. Say it before me if you really know me while you at home. G Herbo, y'all already know what the fuck is going on because stop playing with my man. He the best. That's definitely my first one. And then second, we'll have to go Lil Baby. And then third, Lil Dirk, cause I be he just he he be speaking to me, man. Like I don't know what it is, he be speaking to me. Um, Coyle Ray. Did I say Polo G already? Polo G. I think that's five, ain't it? Yeah, I think that's five. But I'm gonna keep going. Just like my top people I listen to, like Three um, X Bravo. My brother Rayvon put me on to him. Um, Money Bag. Tusi for sure. Tusi, I love him. Um, Tayana Taylor. Her. Um, Young Blue, I'll be listening to him. Rod Wave, too. He's definitely up there. If you don't listen to Rod Wave, man, like, you just ain't really been through nothing for real. If you don't feel that man pain, like, I don't think y'all be hearing him for real. Um, Pop Smoke definitely is up there. Who else do I really listen to? I be listening to No Cap. I be listening to Lil Zay. Young Boy, I be listening to him, too. He ain't one of my top favorites, but I, I mess with him. He's good. I like him. Um... Who else? Um, Kevin Gates. I'll be listening to Kevin Gates. I'll be listening to Megan. I'll be listening to... Who else? Let's see. Lil TJ. I'll be listening to Lil Nas. Um, Fivio, Fivio Foreign. I think that's how you say his name. I'll be listening to him now. I used to not listen to him, but I listen to him now. This is just honestly my top artist right now that I've really been like vibing with. Oh, Mulatto, if I didn't say her already. Lakia Dene. Um, I mess with Kodak Black a little bit. Some of his music would be good. Kalani, I mess with her. K-Camp. Um, Jain Aiko. I hope that's how you say it. Um, and I be listening to a lot of like old school music too. Like old school music never get old. Ever, 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 ever. 
uh, I've been listening to Gunna, Future. I've been listening to um, who else? SG. I've been listening to him. I've been listening to LMA. Uh, I still be listening to El Hitter. I ain't gonna lie, he be spitting some raw bars. Like, but a lot of people don't like outside music when it's like different from other people's music. They wanted to. They want it to sound the same as other people, but you're not going to get the same every time, you know? Nicki Minaj, I be listening to her. Dej Love, Jacquees, DDG. I listen to some... I be listening to some songs by, um... What's his name? Let me see. Who was I just going to say? Daniel Caesar, I like him. Uh, I was just going to say some name. Mm -hmm. I've been listening to Trey songs. Um, Sierra, I've been listening to her stuff for sure. I've been listening to Cowboy. Bryson Tiller for sure. Summer Walker. Beyonce, some of her old songs. Um, Anne Marie. But yeah, that's really most of what I listen to. And. I just didn't want to name only five. I wanted it to stretch a little bit because I didn't want this video to be like super, super short. Like, and then the last question is, how long have you been pescatarian slash vegan? So I think vegan is like when you completely don't eat nothing that comes from any animal. Like that's vegan. So like I'm in the middle still. So I'm pescatarian. Pescatarian means you still eat seafood. Go ahead, grab it. You gotta grab something out. What are you grabbing? What stuff? Okay, go ahead. You can have it. Yeah, I'm so hot. When I'm on my period, it's like I be sweating. Like, ugh, I don't like it. I feel like I be having a fever or something. No, I think they do see me. Yeah, they do. Say hey. Hey, what y'all doing? <laughs> they ain't doing anything. They at home watching mommy or wherever they at. Watching this video, streaming it live. <laughs> Ooh, don't fall, honey. They look at me. You look at you. Here. Yeah. You finna go back in the room? Mm -hmm. What you watching? I'm watching Tobots. Tobots? Oh, okay. You want me to open this? Yeah, no. Truck is a monster truck robot. Really? Like they try to move to robot. Oop, stop. Don't mess with that. That breaks. Yeah. Now, what do you say? Please, can you open it? Yeah. Here you go. They do see me. <laughs> yeah, they see you. Go ahead and throw the paper in the trash. Let me fix your necklace, your protection. Let me fix it for you. Y'all, if y'all didn't check out my Get Ready With Me, no, my um Spend a Weekend With Me video, I got him an evil eye pendant. Close the door, honey. And he is just trialing it right now. He's having a little free trial to see how he does with that one. If he does really good, then I'll get him one that's metal. So, yeah. But, um, how long have I been pescatarian slash vegan? Um, I have been not eating meat like I haven't ate chicken t uh steak um pork anything pork bacon anything like that I have not ate since January 29th and today is April 16th so it has been let's see January 29th that's one month right there to almost let's see wait because hold on let me ask Siri <laughs> how long has it been since January 29th
So it's been about almost three months. So like two and a half months somewhat. So yeah, it hasn't been that long, but it's been a while. Yeah, it's been like going on three months. Um, on the 29th of this month, it'll be going on three months since I have not been eating meat. But I will say is that like it wasn't that hard to stop once I started to really analyze how meat made me feel and how I seen it make others feel without me eating it and just watching how everybody else act when they eat it. And that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. But yeah, I just I chose it for my own benefit and my own health. So, yeah, but the only meat I honestly would make an exception for sometimes is turkey bacon and chicken breast for me and my son. Those are the only two meats. So I don't like not eat it completely, but it's like I balance it out. I try to eat more just fish and stuff like that. So that's pescatarian when you only eat stuff from the sea and the water and stuff. Um so I like I'm halfway you know I still eat animal basically because a fish is still an animal so yeah um that's about it but yeah when I do decide to have my little cheat days with like a little meat it's like very like not very often like it's not often and I promise you you can ask anyone around like they would tell you like Sierra really don't eat meat like when I go out to restaurants, I don't get that other stuff like chicken and um, steaks and shit like that. You know, um, I just sub it with other stuff. And when I'm at work, um, everybody be getting boneless wings. They be getting chicken, all of that. I be getting a deep fried cauliflower wings and I be getting a southwestern black bean burger. I be getting this chicken wild rice soup from... Um, this place called people organic and sometimes i eat the chicken breast and sometimes i don't like i'm just being brutally honest like sometimes i don't sometimes i do but yeah that is the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you are new to my channel you already know what to do smash that subscribe button like comment share this video with all your friends and if you haven't already go check out my most recent content i love you guys and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you want me to do more of these make sure you guys go check out our instagram and dm me on there or comment under some of my posts that i've made already bye